Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia, site of the 1996 Olympic Games, Center Park Stadium, and home to the Georgia State Panthers. And we have been feeling the excitement for this one all week. Today, a showdown of a couple of foes from the Sun Belt. As we'll see, the Old Dominion Monarchs taking on the Georgia State Panthers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia State will kick it off to get this game started. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Old Dominion's offense will get the first swing of the game. And here comes this quarterback. When he takes the field, he brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off. They intercept it. He'll try to take it back. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Panthers! And that is not the start this offense wanted. You're trying to come out, you're trying to create some momentum and get a rhythm and consistency, but you throw the pick six early and put yourself in a hole. Not good. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. And the Monarchs want to move quickly. Looking for room, it's Young. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Wilson will throw. A strike downfield. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Third down, the, the focus of the defense has to shift. It has to change. We have to understand now exactly where the sticks are. We can't give up those plays for them to get beyond the sticks and get those first downs. The Monarchs will have it first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Keeps looking downfield. He'll pull it down and run. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate. And you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes. They do it with ease. Tempo and overdrive. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he's brought down after a nice game. And here we go. If you're an offense, you got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. 
Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Play-action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell the defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He'll keep it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. In these situations, third in eternity, I know exactly what to do. I'm putting more DBs on the field. I know it's a pass. My best pass defenses, and then I turn my pass rushes loose. Go get that QB. And the Monarchs will punt it away on fourth down. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. So the Georgia State Panthers offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Gibson. Finds his big tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Such a big decision early in the game on your opening drive, third and short, you run it, you don't pick it up, and now you're just inches away from getting it. I'm not going to be surprised, guys, if they decide to run it here again. Georgia State will send out the punt unit. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. The Monarchs in the hurry up. He'll do it himself. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. You know, this offensive line, they just got to hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. And if you can just give him a little crease, he can take it the distance. But they couldn't get it done there. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And I think if you're on defense here, you've got to be alert, right? Are they going for it here on fourth down? Does your defense have to be on the field ready for that? Might they line up in a, a punt formation and try to fake it potentially? 
you could see that. You know, there are a lot of coaches early in games that are willing to take big risks. So bells and whistles have got to be going off if you're on defense right now. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Brock. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Georgia State takes over, ready to send out the offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You've got the lead. You've got the football. you got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Quick completion on the out route. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Great timing there on that throw by the QB on the out route. Gets it to his guy just in time. He makes the catch, and his momentum takes him out of bounds. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Caught in the backfield, it's Hurst. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're gonna see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Georgia State ready to go with another first and 10. They'll run it from the gun. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Wide out in motion. To the air, it's Gibson. It's complete on the right side. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Out of the shotgun on third down. Got it in the middle, it's Bush. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. To the ground with the back. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go to the counter play. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab, it's Bush. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they gonna do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is gonna need to make some adjustments. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go, coming after him. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. Well, the offense staying aggressive. They've had success all game long. They just came away with a big play, but finally give up a sack. If they can keep this quarterback standing up, though, they can extend their lead.
And you've got some serious work to do to keep that last one from messing up this drive. Second and 19. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force them into a field goal try. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. Here's the handoff. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. And the Monarchs want to crank the tempo. Keep it on the ground. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out through the 25. On defense, when they line up with numbers and they line up on your side, you're like, you're ready, it's coming right here. And then all of a sudden they mix in counters and they pull one or two guys and go back the other direction. That's a really good job by the offense keeping the defense on their heels. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Immediately fires to the middle. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. Yeah, and obviously great play by the offense to keep the drive alive, and also a good find by the quarterback on third down. The Monarchs will snap it on first and 10. On the run, it's Young. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Trying play action. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. Knocked down immediately, but a big gain down to the 45. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Monarchs look to keep this drive humming. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. Let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun, the Gale looking for room.
Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Wilson to pass. Throws to the wideout. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. The Monarchs decide to punt it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. That's the end of the quarter. Georgia State has the lead here. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that is beautiful execution by the defense. What do I do with that option? String him along. Don't let him make a quick decision. Don't let it be obvious. Did a good job slow playing it, stretching it out, everybody being able to run the football, use the sideline as a defender. Nice job by the defense. And off from the shotgun. Not a lot of room there. Give him a couple to the 16. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. He's going to throw deep right side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punter. This time on target. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. And the Monarchs are in the hurry up. Wilson will throw. They're trying to get to him. He'll pull it down. Still on his feet at the 45. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Going up top on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Offense in the hurry up. the play fake pressure coming and they got him for the sack well I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party they can't keep the defense off of their quarterback they haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight on 
On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting them on the ground. That's why they built the lead. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. It is true as he puts three on the board. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, the Georgia State offense returns to the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking for a man. It's Gibson. Quickly complete. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Trying to find his man on first down. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Pocket starts to collapse. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. Georgia State will send out the punt unit. Slips through the line. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. They'll give it to him again. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. 
I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Running back searching for a hole. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. And nice job on second down. Maybe you're expecting a pass, but sticking the run in there, catching him off balance a little bit, getting a big gain, getting the first down. The Monarchs will hustle for the line. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Young. You can hand it to him. You can throw it to him. Either way, he's making his presence felt. Those are your favorite plays, Reese. The him plays, right? <laughs> They're finding ways to get him the ball because he can make plays, whether it's running or receiving out of the backfield. They're going to continue to highlight this guy. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Wilson to pass. Quick strike complete. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And the Monarchs are threatening on first and goal. He'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Looks as if he's going to run it. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Monarchs! And I tell you what, Reese, I'm not picking a team unless I got a guy that can do something like this at the quarterback spot. I need an athlete. I need a little bit of mobility. It just dictates too much to the defense. QB runs in for six. PAT unit on the field. right down the middle. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia State takes over, ready to send out the offense. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. And it's picked off. Touchdown, Old Dominion. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. 
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, the Georgia State offense returns to the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Such an advantage when you have an athletic quarterback today in college football because they can help you move the sticks with their legs. Great open field running ability by this QB. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Back to pass. It's Gibson. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket. Nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Quickly to the tight end. They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure it to first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. They keep attacking through the air, using the quick game. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. That last completion has him set up second and short. On the ground, it's Beasley. Got room at the 35. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Scanning the field, it's Gibson. Takes the easy throw in the flat. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You know, and that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. And they're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. Line getting set on second down. The play action fake. Finds his man. It's Thompson. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Panthers. And the defense has to be able to do a better job on the back end, tackling this receiver and keeping him out of the end zone.
Ready to try the point after. Smashes it through for the PAT. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Five receivers across the formation. It's second and 11. Wilson will throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. It's hard for an offense to win when you get in predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. The Monarchs moving quickly to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. Wide open downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And the Monarchs getting set on first and ten. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And he makes a completion there, set up and in business at the 20. This receiver is so dangerous out in space, and it's a nice job by the QB getting him the ball early on the curl route. And you see, once he has it, he's got some wiggle, he's got some shake, makes some defenders miss, and gets up the field. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Feeling some heat. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Wilson to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. And it's complete at the six. Defense right there, but now they're backed up with a goal-to-go -go situation. The Monarchs have it in scoring position on first and goal. From the gun, he'll try to throw. Let's it fly. Caught close to the marker, it's Young. And he's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown, ODU! Love the thought process by the quarterback here on this play. Nobody open in the end zone. Find your check down. Find the running back. He does that, and once this guy's got the ball in his hands, he shows you that elusiveness and his ability to sniff out the end zone. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. 
Georgia State takes over, ready to send out the offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum. He's off to the races. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking to go up top on first down. A little screen to the running back. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. To the air. It's Gibson. He's got his man. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback and receiver working the curl route. Receiver got his depth, and he fought back to the football, helping make that completion a whole lot easier. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete to the left. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. They'll immediately call timeout. And in the waning seconds of the first half, they'll try to put up three before going to the break. And for the second time in this game, he'll try to knock through a field goal. This one, a 41-yarder. It is perfect. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Atlanta. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. And it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Center Park Stadium. And the Monarchs will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, the Georgia State offense returns to the field. Going to the run to start this second half. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. They'll give it to the back. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. He'll keep it himself. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Yeah, and it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience at the quarterback spot, but nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. And here comes the offense on second down. Leaves it with the back. Tackled after picking up the first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hit the yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. The Panthers are rolling down the field. Using his legs, it's Brock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
it's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a negative play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Gibson. He's got his man. Makes the grab. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And that's exactly your job when you're a defense. You know, they're going to make throws. They're going to make catches. I got to get them on the ground. I got to limit the yak, the yards after the catch. Nice job breaking on the football, getting the wide receiver on the ground. They need the 40 to convert here on third down. Unloads to the right. Got his man. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. If you're going to throw a comeback in man-to-man, -man, I got to trust my guy is going to beat that guy. And this quarterback, you could tell, really did a good job of trusting his wide receiver, and that's why he gets the first down. To the air on first down. Release to the back. Got a man. It's Beasley. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, Georgia State. And with that when they jump on top here in the second half. And I like the running back's vision. He sees the hole, explodes through it. He knows where the goal line is, gets in the end zone, gets six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So it's an 80-yard drive, and it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. From the gun, running back gets to give. They get it out to the 36 and on the move after a pickup of 15. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. The Monarchs headed quickly to the line. They'll ride the hot hand. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Here comes the hurry up. The give to the tailback. Runs through the tackle. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Monarchs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Running to the left. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem of the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. Bounced off his feet. 
Listen, in these situations, it's so hard to push the ball down the field because the defense is playing pass. We bring in more DBs. We're, we're dropping deeper on our, in our coverage, and we're making you throw the ball underneath or run the football. Nice job by the running back. Listen, he got good yards. He didn't get the first down, but now he's in a situation where third down becomes something where it's not predictable. Now it's a situation where they can go out and have success. Snagged in the middle. It's Young. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? We've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Looking to move it through the air. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Monarchs! Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and they finished it off, needing just a few inches and going up top to get it. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia State takes over, ready to send out the offense. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The offense lining up for a first down play. Might as well give it to him again. At the 40, there he goes. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Hand off from the gun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, being able to make in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Good timing on the quick out. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route. And this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job. Nice success. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. Looking to throw, it's Gibson. He's got his man. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And the defense brought the blitz on third down, trying to see if they could rattle the quarterback, but how about the poise? He knew where his answer was. He didn't panic or freak out. He just went through his progressions, picked up the first, and we got a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. 
And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Hey, nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. Georgia State jumps back to the line. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. They'll move it back, and it's first and 15 for this offense. On the ground, it's Beasley. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Offense gets set for second down. Now the play fake. Finds the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you even start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. To throw, it's Gibson. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, Georgia State! Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety. You get worried about that. But the offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing. Great job getting a touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. They'll leave it with him. Breaks the tackle. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. The Monarchs come to the line in the hurry up. They'll run play action. Buys a little extra time. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. I think he did a really good job, first of all, keeping his eyes downfield. You could see he wanted to throw the football. But when it's not there, don't force it. Tuck it down, get some positive yards. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. The give on the inside. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves them with second and four. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. Well, that's why this running game can be so dynamic. This guy is special when he has the football in his hands. He can make people miss, he can run with power, and he also has speed. You saw it on that last play. 
And the Monarchs are moving quickly down the field. He wants to throw. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack. Throw the ball away. Now, listen, we can debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So, you know what? Nice throw away, QB. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and 10 from the 43. Throws to the wideout. Got his man all by himself. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. The Monarchs will snap it on first and ten. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll do it himself. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and... They're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw in that last play. And the Monarchs racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll run it on first and goal. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Now on second and goal. After run, 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 now throw. Into the hallelujah land. Touchdown, Old Dominion. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Offense getting set for first down. Back to throw, it's Gibson. Gets it out fast. And brought down, looks as if that's how we'll end the third. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Takes the handoff. It's Beasley. Few things on offense as reliable as a tough power back as he plows his way ahead to the 33. Now on third down after that run. Wide receiver shows motion. 
looking to throw for it. Makes the grab down the middle. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And you can tell they set up the screen action, but how about the ability to adjust, right? I see what the defense is giving me. You gonna leave that open? Okay, I'm gonna take it right now. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. From the gun, the ground game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off play action. Unloads to the wide out. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. Dropping back, it's Gibson. Going deep. And they've moved out front here in the fourth. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. He's got it, and the lead is up to a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the final 53 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you, Paul. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. The Monarchs want to pick up the tempo. Using his legs, it's Young. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. They get to the line quickly. Wilson will throw. He lets one fly deep. He's got it at the 20. Touchdown, ODU. They've got the lead here in the fourth. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Give to the back. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. Got three on first down at second and seven. Power football with the run. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. The give to the left side. Can't get him to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to throw, it's Gibson. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And here's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open. Throw it out of bounds. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Well, they tried to get this quarterback going, running the ball in, in a variety of ways, and they haven't really been able to kind of break him out just yet until that run right there. Nice individual effort on the scramble. It took a little longer than they would have liked, but maybe that's the play that's really going to sort of spark this offense and really maybe get this guy going more on the ground. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. They'll try to power their way ahead. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. I mean, I think back in the day, this is a no-brainer. You're punting the football and believing your defense, but analytics all the time now telling you to be aggressive. I'm interested to watch this play. Obviously, if you're aggressive, you might could run this clock out and end the football game and not have to put your defense back on the field. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires to the tight end. And the Panthers get it past the sticks. Not really a huge decision there. You don't want to give up the football at this juncture of the game, and they're able to keep the drive going. You know, the head coach here obviously feels like punts and field goals are not going to get him back in. And so put this one on your quarterback. Trust in him to go out and execute and give your team a chance to win. From the gun, the running back has it. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Looking downfield, it's Gibson. They're working that left side. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. 
Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. Caught behind the line. It's Thompson. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They get him down after he makes a catch. Oh, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. This offense has a second down play. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Georgia State ready to go with another first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. He wants to pass it on second down. He's got it on the run. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. A first down run in the red zone. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. Tries again to get it in. And again, he gets nothing. This defense is not giving up anything on the goal line. Yeah, and if you go big, I'm going big. I'm going to bring in extra defensive linemen. I'm going to bring in my big physical linebackers. I'm expecting run. This is what they've done. This is what you do on this part of the field. So I'm going to play aggressive on defense. Go straight ahead. Tripped up for the tackle. Man, if I'm quarterback right now, after this long of a drive down this close, I'm going for a touchdown here, Pop. And I get that, but I've worn this defense out, man. I'm going to go for the touchdown right here. And if I miss, they got to go the whole length of the field to score a touchdown. Trailing and getting deep in the game, they'll go for it here on fourth and goal. They move the tight end all over. I'll try to power it in. Touchdown, Panthers. And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. Well, that was about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. On the run, still looking. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. 
Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. And the Monarchs want to move quickly. Going to run it. It's Young. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage. Get up there in the line of scrimmage. See it. Diagnose it. Get in the backfield. Get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. This could be the biggest play of the game so far. Third down and two. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And there were some collisions in there. The D finally stopped him short of the marker. The Monarchs will try to pin them back with the punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. On the move, it's Brock. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. Dropping back, it's Gibson. It's complete. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man in the middle. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far in third down. He is like a loose boulder just rolling to the 32. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. Makes the tackle at the 27. It's a pickup of five and enough for the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Panthers have it with a first and ten. And they'll take a knee. 